John Friedman, you say the Jamie Dimon story, the fall of Jamie Dimon, although I would argue there's no fall yet, really. Mm -hmm. The Facebook IPO, the failure, the fiasco, whatever you want to call it. All too much hype. Too much hype. Whose fault is the hype? Is it your fault, John Friedman? Not at all. It's not your I'm fault. I'm an innocent victim. You're an innocent victim. No, of the it's, it's really, it's really a matter of the media, like us, write and say all these stories about Jamie's problems and Jamie's fall, and Jamie's demise, and Facebook's fall, and Facebook, and people believe it. But in the first place, we build these guys up. We build up Jamie Dimon to huge proportions, and of course, Facebook's IPO. And then and they, when, they, when they fizzle, we, we let them have it. Well, now why does the media do this? And wait, let me just insert the following thought here. And I hate to make this about me, but I will. And in Please case, do. Uh, once upon a time, I was the CEO of a company that had a fair amount of profile in Europe. I don't need to bore you with the details, but there were some very glowing profiles written about me in various industry publications, including the FT and various other things. And, you know, like a year and a half later, you know, while they, after, when they were done building me up, then came the articles to take you down. Why does the media feed off of personalities and off of stories like that? You're a good company with, with the Beatles, well, I mean, yeah, good, with JFK, yeah, exactly. with Reagan, with exactly. everyone. We, we build you up and knock you down. Why? Because it's, it's what we do. We, we, we love a new story when you're new and hot and on the way up. We love writing about you. Then when you've peaked, we think you've peaked, we take <laughs> you down. Now, but what is that just, is it just a matter of economics? Is that because... You know, at the end of the day, uh, the newspapers or the magazines, they got to sell either page views or, as the case was once upon a time, subscriptions or magazines. They got to sell the product and they got to sell the advertising. And people are always much more interested in a black and white story or a hero or sure. a you know, sure. failure sure. or a criminal. They're much more interested in the bloody story than they are in maybe the, the gray that may exist in our everyday reality. We are really bad people, first of all, <laughs> as you know. Who's, wait, who's a bad person? Journalists. <laughs> the media. I'm not a journalist. I don't. I don't. You're a but, former CEO. Yeah. Yeah. Well. Yeah. Exactly. So. <laughs> no, but it's it's human nature. I mean, we love a new story. What we, we think is a new story. We love to find a new band or a new TV show or a new politician or a new company, a new new stock, and then build it way up. And then, of course, when it fails to come through for us. We take it personally and slam it down. It's human nature. It's human nature. We like to see either great successes or great failures. Yes. But is reality really like that? No. No. It's never like no. that, is it? Or yeah. sometimes. As you say, as you say, there is there is gray. What if Jamie missed a big comeback in a year or two and we're forced to change our view again of him? Or Facebook goes to seventy five dollars a share. We were wrong about that too. But it is in the economic interest of various media organizations, the Wall Street Journal, you know, various magazines. They want to put somebody like Mark Zuckerberg mm. on the cover, right? Well, I mean, he's, they want, he's, it he sells. sells. He, he sells. sells, right? He sells. He sells like People Magazine, right? There's a reason why they put Tom Cruise or Angelina Jolie or Brad Pitt, right? That's a long time ago. I think you're looking at yesterday, right? yesterday's heroes. But you know, I don't. I don't. You're buy out of touch. People you're out of touch. I don't. Buy, I'm not part of the whole. I hope not. I'm not part of the whole media. You're frenzy. part of the whole Zuckerberg scene, though. Well, no, I'm not part of the Zuckerberg scene. You could not, be. No, no, I don't think. You so. could be. No, if you're on Facebook, you could that, be. Let me. Do you, do you think media is doing something wrong here? Well, of course, of course yeah, we are. Really? Sure, we're responsible. But again, it's human nature. People want to read these stories, give them, give them what they want. And we like writing them. So it's not going to change because we think we're being irresponsible or unfair. Or well, people think of being unfair. I don't think it's so unfair. But if somebody is doing something really, really well, you build them up to big proportions. And then, of course, like I said, when, when they peak, down. they take them down.